guys are showing us what Africa should be in the near future. And it's also uh, making Africans want more democratic groups. Yeah. Yeah. What's up brothers and sisters, welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for considering subscribing and also for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please, please consider being part of this family. Today we are celebrating the Alliance of Sahel States, the three countries as we know them, the countries which are giving Africa. France especially. No, no, they are giving Africa hope, hope yeah. for the future mm -hmm. of a liberated Africa. That is Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger. and Niger. So on Thursday, that was 23rd of November, mm -hmm. General Chiani, Abdurrahman Chiani of Niger mm -hmm. visited Mali and uh, on the same day he flew and visited Burkina Faso. And this is because this there's a, uh, let, let me call, is it a conference? Mm -hmm. There's a conference of ministers, ministers of the Alliance of Sahel States from November 23rd, from uh, Thursday mm -hmm. up to December 1st, 2023, mm -hmm. in which these ministers of the Alliance of the Sahel States will be meeting in Bamako, Mali to draft a common economic plan for the Alliance of Sahel States. And this is why General, we saw General Chiani moving from Niger, his very first international flight to, Bukina, to Mali, and in the afternoon, Bukina, Bukina Faso. Faso. Mm -hmm. And guys, what are you feeling? Don't you think this is what Africa needs? You no, know, they keep talking about 2063. These guys what are doing it today. Is that? <laughs> Let us hear what they say. What okay, they... so they spoke about a lot of things, including yeah. the development, you know, the progression of all these countries of the Sahel states. Mm -hmm. So, amongst um, the things of importance that they mentioned during their uh, deliberations and all, all of that, they mentioned that they want to boost and energize cooperation between the two states. Okay. Okay. So they, they talked about boosting and energizing cooperation between all the states. So we have seen that they've always been um, working, working together. together yeah. But now they want to reaffirm that, yes, we are still together and we want to mm -hmm. boost and re-energize mm -hmm. our cooperation. All right, they also welcome the creation of the Alliance of um, Sahel States. The first meeting, as you had rightly mentioned, of ministers of finance and business is to be held on the 30th of November in Bamako. Bamako. 2023. We're yeah. not talking about next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually like two days to come. Exactly. And remember, mm -hmm. the ministers of the AES are already in, in, a, in a huge meeting, a big conference that started on Thursday, November mm -hmm. 23rd, and it will be ending in December 1st. Yeah. But here, on November 30th, we are talking about the ministers of finance and, and business. business. Yeah. Because running a country is all about trade, money. business, money. money. So these guys have a special meeting. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move Maybe on. Maybe the budgets, the, you know, yeah. Yeah. allocations and all of that. So and then on security, which is a very important issue very important for, for Sahel for the states. Sahel, yeah. 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 So terrorists has been a threat for all these um, states. So they reaffirmed their commitment to combat terrorism. So Niger also congratulated Burkina Faso for the success in fighting terrorism. I think all of them need to be congratulated because we recently saw in Mali, so Mali yeah. in Mali, where yeah. Kidal was reconquered by Mali army forces, which is very exciting. Very Niger exciting. has been also fighting terrorism, yeah. so they all should be con congratulated. You know, you know, Mali, mm -hmm. Mali goes to the north, eh? mm. meeting Algeria mm -hmm. to the north, and also Niger. But the, there's an area where this country is merged, mm -hmm. the, the very where they are terrorists. Yes, yeah. Mali, and it starts where Burkina Faso has, has been concentrating on. Mm -hmm. And Burkina Faso has been beating the terrorists. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you follow Burkina Faso news, you'll see it's not a game. Not a joke. Like, every, every day. day every fighting. day. Not fighting. Mm -hmm. They are exterminated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually, like yesterday, they, they, they reported that even there are terrorists from Ghana. Now that's my problem. Ghana, like mercenaries from Ghana in the African in, as people. terrorists. Is it desperation? Is it lack of employment? Is it I think it's lack of employment. Wow, guys. Yeah. Why would I go and fight 
you know, my fellow brothers in a different country just because it's of... It's brainwashing and they want money. Oh my goodness. But All in right. this case, Nijia is celebrating Bukina. Yeah, Bukina Faso. Yeah, doing a lot and, you know, finishing, exterminating the... It's like they are also doing it for them because mm. they work across the borders. Mm. Eh? Yeah. yeah, exactly. When you eliminate them in your country, it's going to be safer because people are running away to these countries mm -hmm. seeking, you know, seeking yeah. a safe space in my country. So if you keep your country safe, it means there will be peace in all of us. All right. Yeah. Then there were bilateral cooperation in hydro. Then there were discussions on bilateral cooperation in hydrocarbon matters and commitment to continuing and strengthening this. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Uh, the president of Kenya is going around the world preaching clean energy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these guys are talking about utilizing and uh, mm -hmm. the hydrocarbons, that is the fossil fuels and anything that mm -hmm. is based on the, uh, the carbon and hydrogen. Eh? Mm -hmm. So we'll see these countries growing because they are not looking at mining these minerals and sending them no. out. No. It's all about mining the minerals and processing or refining and selling the final mm -hmm. finished product mm -hmm. yeah yeah and in on regards to matters the big elephant in the room if i can call it the sanctions that have been seen yeah, especially yeah. in niger by ECOWAS, you know niger has been suffering so they were they, they praised each other for commitment in commit for resilience and commitment demonstrated um, by the people you know yeah, in the yeah. face of these challenges that they are facing i think the all the the, the other big thing that makes these people succeed is that they have the support of the people. Yeah. There's nothing that beats support. Yeah, exactly. If you are doing right by your people, they will rally behind you. Exactly. Even if they are going through hardships, like, you know, it's hard, but they're me, still behind let me, you. Let me tell you something else. Mm -hmm. eh? If the leaders of any countries mm -hmm. are like this, eh? mm -hmm. they, are, they are together. Mm -hmm. If we are always seeing the three presidents together, even the people come together. Exactly. It doesn't matter. And they just, they just, you know, they have each other. Uh, they come together and like we are brothers. Yeah. They, but if the the leaders are like, no, we are fifty fifty, it will not work. Do you realize that, um, for example, I've, I've given an example of East Africa, mm -hmm. where Kenyans and Tanzanians, this this even in Nigeria, I think Nigeria and Ghana, mm -hmm. you have this silly stupid fights, which are something huge. When you see yeah. Nigerian Jolof, Ghanaian Jolof, yeah. it's a small thing, but it does cause. Um, the, the, your division um, amongst this yeah, population. Yeah, exactly. Kenya, Tanzania, Kenya, whose, Swahili, whose Swahili is better than the other. Instead of you guys coming together and teaching each other the right Swahili, whatever yeah. you call good yeah, Swahili. Yeah. So this small, small inner fights, they bring a lot of division at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But for these guys, seeing their leaders coming like together. this, it will make them even appreciate each other as brothers and, and sisters. And another thing is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's ha it hasn't been easy for Nigerians, eh? Because the Nigerians are going through crazy sanctions yeah. from both ECOWAS mm -hmm. and the West. Mm -hmm. And the prices of commodities went up and all that. But the people are sticking to it. No, let us stay with yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, ha we have seen a lot, but let us just stay with this exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then there was a discussion on political, economic, scientific and cultural I think it's cooperation. Political, scientific, uh, cultural, cultural, and economic. Political, and economic, and scientific, scientific, and cultural. That is amazing. All right. So what was discussed is that they are strengthening cooperation in all these areas, mm -hmm. and then they want to increase mutual exchanges in these areas. All right. And there will be a session to be held on December in December 2023, now where that is... you know the cooperation will now be made even maybe those will be when we talk about a uh, scientific mm -hmm. it will be exchange program uh, expo mm -hmm. expo say. Exactly. It, when we talk about culture it will mm -hmm. be cultural event exactly. when we talk about uh, uh, this economic Economies, you know it's scientific. all about man Imagine and these guys what? are not talking about 2030. 2030 can go to wherever it's going. It's December. Ah, <laughs> Next month. How much, how Actually, it's almost like five days to December. How many days? Even it's, less. Yeah. And wow. these guys are not joking. With wow. this uh, 2063. And uh, I'm foreseeing. Yeah, Even I'm Malema uh -huh. said, talked about this 2063. Someone is talking about 2063. Will you even be alive in 2063? <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs>
<laughs> if it, 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 it should not be 2027 20, it should be now. today now let's do this as soon as we can yeah implement whatever idea you have right now because tomorrow is not promised what if you don't do it today and the next person will be in power that time will Necessary. not even have a vision yeah. for what you you are demanding for it. people so that's the problem now yeah so it's very unfortunate that our president is so stupid we have a lot of stupid leaders that are very um, but I they, think they it's the control from the West. Of... Then they bootleg the West. Mm -hmm. eh? Because these people, last time we talked about, we have a, a bunch of young leaders mm -hmm. who know it's all about us. Yeah. But we have a bunch of old leaders that think that it has to come from the, the white savior. Exactly. The white savior mentality. Exactly. And most of our African old leaders are mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. Even if you put a different one, they all come with that mentality that we are waiting for a white savior. We cannot process our materials. We have to wait for them to come. We cannot mine. And people have been mining. Like, when it comes to the gold mining in Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. even the president of Burkina Faso, that is mm -hmm. Ibrahim Tauri said, eh? even the small miners, they're calling the collectors. Mm -hmm. Those people who collect gold will be coming to sell here. Not collecting coal, selling to some other people, but you'll be bringing it to Pecto a central sales, place. Yeah, you know, you respect know. Or they even cheat you. you and he also said thing. that they are going to increase the number of collectors. That is the local miners, yeah. you see? Who are very skilled, by the way. Very skilled. But mm -hmm. our leaders, in, in Zimbabwe, you have to, do they have to go for some foreign miners to come in. Yeah, and what does this mean for these um, small miners is that they will be getting safety equipment because right yeah. now we know they work under very unsafe yeah. conditions. Mm -hmm. Some die in the process. So they will be equipped with safety materials and equipment. So it's not just going to be like you are trying to do some backdoor, you know, yeah. work. It's now official. You are recognized as this is your hustle. Okay, fine. Now how can we help you to upscale, to upscale it? it. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, better. Yeah. So guys, imagine a country with students who will be moving from Burkina Faso to Mali to, to learn to, to cultural learn exchanges to, to and even scientists to, 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 to you know when it comes to science, mm -hmm. it's a lot of things. Okay. So it's everything. Yeah. Ah, yeah, guys, powerful. let us know what you think. Let us know. Are you celebrating this case? Because these guys are showing us what Africa should be in the near future, and it also I think it's also. Uh, Making Africans want more democratic groups, eh? like like Sierra Leone, a day, a day uh, yesterday or mm. the day before, they almost had a coup. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, are you happy? Are you celebrating? Uh, we are happy. Our, our hearts are full, and we keep praying for these three leaders so that our ancestors and the Most High can keep protecting them, yeah. them from the sellouts and the Western. Uh, bourgeoisie and elite and uh, oligarchs and don't forget to subscribe share and like this video we'll see you next time bye bye